The number nine role is associated with goals. Those that wear the shirt are primarily expected to find the back of the net on a regular basis. Teams entrust their number nines with scoring, but not all nines focus solely on this particular aspect of the game. Many take on a variety of important tactical tasks. The number nine role can incorporate a wide array of responsibilities, being a target man, dropping off the link play, or using speed and positioning to attack the channels and create chances or poach goals. The role requires a lot more of those who play up front than just getting goals, and in the Bundesliga, this versatility can be found in abundance, with stars like Robert Lewandowski, Paco Alcacer, Mario Goetze, and Wout Verhorst, all demonstrating just what it takes to lead the line for a top Bundesliga team. Wout Verhorst is an exemplary target man. Leading the line for Wolfsburg in their 3-4-2-1 system, he is charged with offering an outlet for direct play from back to front bringing others into the attack and making the most of chances that fall his way. He's also active out of possession, defending from the front in an intense pressing side. Offensively, standing at 198cm tall, Fechost is tough to beat cleanly in the air. He wins 52% of his aerial duels, third best among strikers in the Bundesliga this season, and his robust frame allows him to keep hold of the ball even when closely marked. He tends to play one-touch layoffs for runners on either side of him before getting into the box to be on the end of crosses and through balls. Whenever the ball falls his way in scoring positions, he needs no second invitation to shoot and his finishing is accurate. Paco Alcacer has a completely different interpretation of the number 9 role. Whereas Verhorst leads the line alone and spends a lot of time with his back to goal, Alcacer tends to play as the most advanced, forward-facing half of a striking partnership with the deeper-lying and more creative Marco Royce at Dortmund. Borussia Dortmund tend to dominate possession and like to build through the thirds more gradually. When they enter the final third, they get the ball to fast, skillful wingers such as Jadon Sancho, who will then cross low and hard across the penalty box or cut back from the byline. Alcacer, thanks to his exceptional ability to outmaneuver defenders, is usually on hand to finish these moves. With quick reactions and keen predatory instincts, he always manages to place himself in awkward positions for opponents. He frequently gets into the channel on the blind side of centre-backs, meaning they can't track both him and the ball. Then, when the pass is made, he's able to attack the ball. Alcacer's movement is what gets him into dangerous areas, but that's only half of the battle. Once in those areas, he still needs to beat the goalkeeper. Fortunately, as a composed and clinical poacher, he consistently takes full advantage of opportunities. Dortmund have different types of nine in their squad and sometimes like to rotate Mario Goetze in for Alcacer. Goetze, who began his career as an attacking midfielder, plays the role with more positional fluidity, dropping off the front line to combine with teammates. He is firstly a creator who likes to connect attacking moves and dribble at defenders, but Goetze also has an eye for goal. It was he who scored the World Cup winning goal for Germany in 2014, and he remains a consistent contributor at club level today. Of all the nines in world football, however, few are as effective as Robert Lewandowski. Now enjoying his 10th Bundesliga campaign, the Bayern München hitman is without doubt one of the finest strikers of all time. And even at 31 years of age, he shows no sign of slowing down. Bayern have played a more direct, counter-attacking style of football in recent years, and Lewandowski has adapted superbly to the changes. He thrives in transitional situations where the opposition defence isn't fully organised. Exploiting the gaps available with intelligent movement, his precision in the final third turns counters into goals. Opportunistic and clinical, he also capitalises on defensive errors. Constantly alert to the possibilities around him, he pounces on mistakes and makes chances for himself in the process. And, when presented with an opportunity, he is an outstanding finisher. With variety and speed of thought, Lewandowski can beat goalkeepers with deft chips, headers or calmly placed shots. With explosive wingers in Kingsley Kerman and Serge Gnabry, as well as playmakers like Thiago and Philippe Coutinho, he is never short on quality supply, but he also does his own part for the team. Dropping deep to offer for a pass, receive and continue the attack, in short, he is the very definition of an all-round number 9. Lewandowski will compete with Alcacer, Verhorst and others for the Torjäger Canone this season. They are all productive number 9s, aiming for 20 goals and beyond, but each will do so in their own unique way. Hello? Yes, you. 
Where are you going? The Bundesliga on YouTube. Subscribe now. <laughs> Football as it's meant to be.